What's happening now is not bottleneck in technology. It's not that the technology is not good enough. For the last couple of years, that's been the argument against AI. People saying it's trash, it's AI slop, it can't code. The images it creates are ridiculous. They have six fingers and the videos are rubbish, etc. That's been a very valid argument for the last three years, two years, with people saying, oh, don't need to worry about AI because it's crap. That's changing. I think a lot of people realize this. In programming, I gave a live about this yesterday, Claude Code using Opus 4.5 has been a tipping point for programmers and for coders when they've suddenly realized that, oh, this is really good. This is going to remove coding as a profession. We're still going to be doing other things, architecture, planning projects, all of the higher, more abstract stuff, but coding itself, the AI is very good. And different industries are realizing this. AI is getting extremely good. There's now something called the capability overhang. Ethan Mollick talks about this. OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, put out a tweet at Christmas saying, AI is accelerating, getting faster and better. We, humans, we are not using it better than a couple of years ago. Most people are still using ChatGPT as a replacement for Google. That's a fine first step, but AI can do much more. With ChatGPT, you can have it help you ask better questions. The capability overhang is us using ChatGPT, Claude, using Gemini, in the same way that we did two years ago, three years ago. We haven't increased the quality of our questions. We haven't increased the work that we can do with AI, but the AI has sh shot off ahead. So there is a capability overhang today between model capabilities and how people actually use them. So progress will depend as much on helping people use AI as on advances in frontier models. It's us who are lagging behind. We need to upgrade how we use it personally, but also go and help other people in business, other people in our communities, other people in our demographics, etc., to catch up with this and to use it better. There's a huge gap right now.